Hello, it's Thursday, July 26, 2007. I'm Rebecca Field with a UPI Entertainment Update. Britney Spears' bizarre behavior is reportedly causing some concern among family and friends. Sources say the pop star had a meltdown during a recent photo shoot for OK Magazine. She was apparently worried that the ceiling was caving in. Then after eating fried chicken, she reportedly wiped her hands on a couture gown. A family friend tells People Magazine her family is worried about how she's acting and how it will affect her two sons. Actress Lindsay Lohan is maintaining her innocence following her DUI arrest. In an email to Access Hollywood, the actress says she did not do drugs and the cocaine found was not hers. Lohan was arrested on Tuesday for driving under the influence, driving with a suspended license and cocaine possession. If she's found guilty, she could face six years in prison. Actor Matt Damon has made his mark on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He was honored in a ceremony on the famous sidewalk yesterday, where he was joined by his wife Luciana Barossa and mother Nancy Carlson Page. Damon is known for starring in and writing the film Goodwill Hunting, as well as big hits like Syriana and The Departed. And the Backstreet Boys are back. After a two-year break, the group is reportedly getting ready for their sixth album release. One of the band's members, Kevin Richardson, left the group last year, but the four other band members, Brian Luttrell, Howie DeRoe, Nick Carter, and AJ McLean, are still intact. There's no word on the name of the new release or when it will hit shelves. Folk icon Joni Mitchell is signing on for a two-album music deal. She's made the agreement with Hear Music, the label for the coffee retailer Starbucks. Mitchell will reportedly release a new CD on September 25th called Shine. It includes nine new songs and a new version of her hit, Big Yellow Taxi. The singer has been mostly retired from the music industry since 2002. That's all for now. For more on those stories and all the day's news, go to UPI.com. Thanks so much for watching.